Welcome to another episode of Wonders of the World Wide Web. In this episode, we're going to talk about Discord. But what is Discord? Discord is communication software for personal computers. To people who are older than 20, Discord can be very confusing. It starts with their logo. What is it? We asked 100 people over 20 what they think it represents. 3% answered it's a bad drawing of a hippo, 5% answered it's a blue creature with a unibrow, 6% answered it's a demon puking a rainbow, and 86% answered what were you smoking when you made up this question? <laughs> for Discord, you'll need a personal computer and a modem, which stands for modulator demodulator. But how does it work? It's easy. First, we need to install Discord. Just type install and it will install Discord on your computer's hard disk. Be sure to select the right modem. Now we start Discord. It automatically connects to the network. The first time you use Discord, you'll need a username. Hmm, what about Squirrel Monkey? And a password. Hmm, what about a couple of asterisks? There! Now I'm going to make a server. This is some kind of space where you can communicate with people. I call it Squirrel Monkey's Club. Now Discord gives me an invitation code. When I give this code to people, they can join my server. Let's invite some people. With F1, you can disconnect your modem so you can invite people. Hello. Hi, John? Do you have a pen and paper? Yes. Why? I have Discord. Okay. My code is X underscore P, capital T, underscore Jason, underscore C. So, X underscore P, capital T, underscore, the word Jason, the word C. No, no, not C. The letter C that comes after the B in the alphabet. I invited a lot of friends. Oh, this is going to be so exciting! Discord is currently in graphic mode. I really recommend you to switch to the text mode with F2. Text mode shows more text and it's easier on the eye. As you can see, people are chatting. I'm going to try chatting as well. How are you? <gasps> it works! I received an answer on my computer! Wow! You can give every visitor on the server a role. I gave user jerk 2000 the role of village idiot, but you can also give serious roles. I gave Hampoon, a Discord expert, the role of administrator. As you can see, my Discord server looks different now after Hampoon set it up. He installed so-called bots. Bots are computer-generated helpers who make chatting on Discord easier. If I type PLS hi, one of the bots says hi to everybody in the room for me. There are also funny bots. PLS silly face. <laughs> Isn't that great? Small drawing though. I wonder if I could show it in a different format. Hmm, let's try. PLS format. No! Stop! Stop! Please stop! Just kidding, people. Discord won't destroy your computer. It will only destroy your free time and your future. Did you know that you can also share the screen of Discord compatible games? I love this game. You may wonder, where are the messages? Don't worry, they're still there. With F5, you can switch between the game and the channel. Hmm, somebody sent me a direct message. Direct messages are messages that are not public. Let's press F3 to read the message. You died. I don't get it. Let's go back to the... Oh. Well, this is the end of our show. If you want to know more about Discord, we advise you to order their brochure, Communicating with Discord. It comes with an installation diskette. See you next time, online. <laughs>